here with Representative Mia Gregerson from the 33rd Legislative District, and we're here to chat about how this session is progressing. This is your first year as chair of the State Government and Tribal Relations Committee. Can you talk about what values and perspectives you bring to this role? Yeah, I'm very excited to have this new role as chair, and uh, what I see is very different from past years is I have a background of working in local government, so I'm used to working with people from all sides of the aisle from diverse backgrounds and working in a real transparent way. And so I've really enjoyed using more of a quieter voice and less uh, transactional work and really working to listen to what the members on my committee want and looking for opportunities for everyone to have a voice in our committee. And how is acting as chair different than sitting on the committee? Oh, it's a lot different. Working as chair, you do a lot of work behind the scenes. A few weeks ahead of time, you're talking about what bills are being referred and you're trying to decide how you're going to hear them and make sure there's ample time to put amendments on them and all the feedback. There's a lot of coordination working with the ranking member of the party to make sure that he's okay with what we're talking about and making sure that all the members' voices are being heard on the committee. And what are some big priorities you want to accomplish as chair? Well, I'm very excited to really talk about equity. Equity is something that a lot of jurisdictions have been talking about for decades, but the state hasn't necessarily been talking about it. I think it's more in larger agencies where they have the resources to be able to train and talk about it and really use that lens in the budgets and how they're using the resources. But that's not necessarily the case in other parts of the state or other agencies. And so you're seeing it around how we're going to make sure that every person is counted in the census 2020. You're seeing it with the HEAL Act, which is around environmental justice. And then, of course, the Office of Equity is another way to really ensure that best practices are used and that our smaller agencies also have access to tools in order to prepare and coordinate their budgets and their staff around equity. All right, and do you have any final closing thoughts? Well, it's just really such a great opportunity to be here in the legislature, and I really hope that people understand that this is a place for them and that they can come, and if they can't come in person, to please email or call it. So it's just such a great opportunity.